everybody, it is Life's Apprentice. Well, today we're going to be felling some trees. I'm going to strap a GoPro to my head and we got a bunch of dead standing oak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whole bunch of them. So I'm going to get some on the ground because um, later today I'm going to be with a two year old. She's going to be helping me and I don't want to be felling trees while she's around. So I'm going to get some on the ground now. Um, probably start with some of these smaller rounds um, Some of these are pretty big. I don't know two foot trees something like that And uh, I'm gonna start with some of the smaller ones since I'm with her and uh, I got my dump trailer here and gonna try to get a dump trailer load of rounds cut up and uh, Get them back home So we'll get you guys on my head and uh, hit the like button if you guys like these videos get you guys on my head and let's get to it
That's a big tree, and it went right where I wanted. That's good. Um, you can see I left a little extra. I went a little too far on one side. Had too much holding wood on the other. Um, but that's where the wedge comes in. So it came down safe and where I wanted. Um, I want their driveway is right here. So ideally, I would drop it towards the road. But I didn't want to do that because um, I can back my trailer right up to it. And if I dropped it towards the road, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I dropped it here where I can back up the trailer right to the wood. And uh, I didn't really want to hit that guy. To be honest, this looks pretty rotten. Not sure if there's really anything good on that or not. I don't know, we'll probably... I don't know. We just made it a, this tree just exploded when it hit the ground. But, uh, I suppose we could probably take that guy out too. Let's do that. See if there's anything solid. It doesn't look like anything from here to there is solid, but it looks like maybe from there up could possibly be. So we'll cut that feller. Yeah, this sucker is definitely rotted, which kind of worries me, especially with all the weight hanging right here. I don't even think I'm going to face cut this. I don't think I'm going to even do a notch. I think I'm just going to start on the back side. All the weight's over here, so I don't think it's going to roll or barber chair. I think we're just going to go from the back through, and I think it's just going to break. Clear myself a bit of an escape route. Yeah, this one worries me. barber chair a little bit I don't know leave a comment how should I have gone about that I was worried it was so rotten that uh, I could actually cut in my uh, my face notch and it could potentially fall just cutting that and I don't want to wedge it any other way because all the weight was over there so I don't know if that was smart or not I'm alive and okay, and the tree's on the ground, so that's good. But yeah, leave a comment. How do you cut that? I mean, these, this tree is just completely rotted. I mean, you can see these things have been standing dead for a long time. This one was much more solid um, than this one, and uh, I knew it just by looking at it. But how would you guys have gone about that? Did I do it the right way? I mean, the right way is to get it down on the ground where you want and uh, be safe. I did that, so 
I guess we're gonna move on to another tree. I don't know what wood we'll get off that. These branches look okay. Um, so we can get some of that. Maybe that big branch there is okay. That's why I'm going through and cutting these before they go bad. Um, this one seems to be a little punky at the bottom. Maybe. No, that one's actually really good. So we'll be able to use this whole tree. You can see that outside little bit is punky, but there's a lot of wood in that tree. It's going to fill up half my trailer right there. All right, well, that's three down. Easy trees. But uh, I got one more right over here I really want to just cut into and see. And then, uh, I don't know, I saw a couple more down the way. I'm going to save these big guys for another day. Doing these by myself with a kid is not easy. So I'm going to just try to take it easy on myself here. I don't know, is this guy solid? It seems like it. see how old these are they've been around for a while oh let's cut her down solid to be holding that good. Wow. All right. You can hear it creaking and cracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, maybe not. Too heavy. Oak is freaking heavy. It's crazy. Some of these pieces, how heavy they are. technically four trees not all usable but it's funny how some of these ones that are barkless that look appear to be dead longer are more solid than the ones like that one I cut over there that still has some bark on it um, that one's completely rotted so it's really hard to tell when you're cutting or before you cut as soon as you touch a saw to the rotten ones you know it um, but you can see, I mean, this is a big tree. We'll end up getting this one and those couple right there in the near future. But I'm up for the weekend. It's gonna be beautiful weather. You know, it's like in the 30s, 20, upper 20s during the day. And uh, the whole goal was to cut some of these dead trees down. We had like 70, 80 mile an hour winds yesterday. And I was really hoping to see some of these just fall. Um, because throughout the property there's hundreds of trees like this and uh, they've been falling periodically so yesterday we had crazy wind and uh, nothing that I saw fell 
which is really weird. Um, so these things are still hanging in there, but they're going to slowly start decaying and falling and uh, making a mess. So I want to get them while they're valuable and uh, good, uh, good firewood. Get as many as I can before they all go to the ground and rot. So that's it for this one. I'll be making a few more videos while I'm up here, so check those out. I'll link those at the end. Um, if you like it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you on the next one.